Today on BNI Mid America TV, it's the Notable Networker Show. These BNI members have been nominated by their peers for doing amazing things, reaching big accomplishments, and actively displaying the giver's gain philosophy. Listen as they share their golden nuggets for networking success. And now your host, Marcy Cascio Hale. Welcome everybody to BNI Mid America TV. This is the Notable Networker Show. I am super excited to be here. Just a little bit to let you know who I am. My name is Marcy Cascio Hale, and I'm going to be hosting the Notable Networker Show here on BNI Mid America TV. Today we have with us one of my favoritest people, and I yes, I did make up that word, favoritest people, Little Miss Jenny Bellinger. Um, she is the owner of Level Up Coaching, uh, LLC, based in O'Fallon. She holds the business coaching seat and the growth coordinator seat and the visitor host coordinator seat. Is that what I recall? Visitor orientation specialist. Visitor, oh, see, you know why I did not get that. Uh, in uh, BNI, EBB, Extreme Business Builders, and she is here with us today. They meet at 7.30 on Thursday mornings and always have such a great meeting. She is also a chapter director for three chapters, Revenue by Referrals, Partners in Excellence, and Venturers in Profit, the VIP chapter. We are so glad to have you here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, well, you know, you are one of the premier networkers in our whole BNI region. So, of course, we would have to have you on our show. Oh, well, thank you. Yay. I know. <laughs> a little bit of a love fest. Sorry about that. Seriously, totally, total mutual admiration society here. You're one of my favorite people, too, of course. <laughs> I appreciate that. So I do want to talk about your business. So give us the rundown on Level Up Coaching LLC and what you do there. So I work primarily with rockstar direct sales moms who want financial freedom so that they can be present in their children's lives. So when I say rockstar direct sales moms, what I mean, because that's the number one question I get is like, what do you mean by direct sales? So I often share with people that these are the Rodan and Fields representatives. These are the doTERRA essential oil people, Arbonne, Pure Romance, uh, Juice Plus, um, Isogenics. I've had clients with all of those companies and do still have clients with those companies. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. So tell me what you do with them. How do you bring them along? How, how do you achieve these amazing goals that you get? Well, I basically work to help them achieve their goals. So you know, as I'm working with my clients, my clients will generally work with me anywhere from six months to two years. My longest client has been with me for a little over two years now. Actually, two clients have been with me for over two years. Yeah. Pushing three. Yeah. Haven't, pushing haven't three. I've been with you three years. <laughs> Almost. We're getting there because, you know, it, I don't think we started till 2018. Now that you've brought it up and made it public, I think we started in 2018. So, but it was like January 2018. So, okay. All right. It'll be three years and, by the time this airs. Okay. Yeah. It'll be three years by the time this like shows up on YouTube. Yay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, my, my clients work with me because they are looking for, um, a little additional help in figuring out how to increase their sales, how to grow their team and how to become great leaders that people actually want to follow. And so in the time that my longest clients have worked with me, they've oftentimes become, so my, my number one success story um, was somebody who, when she started with me, she was making $100 a month in her business. And she just recently reported to me that she's in the top 1% of her company. So I know. I'm so that happy. is so fabulous. So, and, and then many of my other clients also report that they, in their time with me, have either doubled, tripled, or quadrupled their income, their monthly income while working with me. So each month they're making two or three or four times more than they were when they started working with me. So their ROI is huge. So they oftentimes will then share me with their team members and friends and family who are also in direct sales, maybe not with the same company, but different companies. And that's how my business has been expanding is, is primarily through referral. I think in my 
three years of being in business, almost four years now. I've direct prospected made fewer than 10 clients of my own. All the rest have come by referral. Wow. Well, so that leads us right into, um, I mean, I do want to talk about you being nominated by several people and all that, but you led us right into what BNI has done for your business. You, you talked about most of your business comes by referral. So I have to make a, a leap that uh-huh. BNI is a huge portion of that. Absolutely. I have, uh, I started in BNI, uh, by the time this airs, it'll be almost 10 years. I, I started in February of 2011. Uh, my first official swearing in was the first week of February in 2011. Stupid human trick. I remember random stuff like that. <laughs> um, but I, when I started, I was with a direct sales jewelry company and through BNI, through the growth I experienced, through the education, through the connections, the relationships, the business coaches that I met, over time, it BNI impacted my career because then I ended up becoming a direct sales coach because I was having such great success in my direct sales business. I started having other people asking me to help them have the same successes. And I didn't feel comfortable doing it for people who weren't in my own company because I didn't know their backgrounds. I didn't know the company stuff or anything like that. So I went and got certified as a coach, a uh, certified professional coach uh, in early 2017. And then in March 1st of 2017, Level Up Coaching was born. And BNI was the first place, I, you know, I transferred categories, switched categories from uh, direct sales jewelry to business coach. And I you know, like I said, I work primarily in network marketing and direct sales. So there's no one else in BNI in our region who does what I do. Um, there are other business coaches, but we don't do the same thing. We don't work with the same clients. Um, so because of that, BNI is a huge referral source for me. Um, you know, over 90% of my clients come by referral. Um, like I said, fewer than 10 in three years have almost four years have been direct prospected. So out of my client base, over 80%, I, I run the numbers every once in a while just to see what it is. Cause I kind of try and remember where people came from and over 80% have come in one way or another through a BNI referral. That's amazing. And so. before we move on to the notable networker, I want to ask you, what makes you different? What, what is your, I don't want to say what's your niche because we know your niche is direct sales Mm -hmm. uh, moms, but what makes you different in terms of the coaching that you do? What make, what's, what's it about you? Mm. I'd have to say that I really, I really do base my coaching around what the client wants. And my job as a coach is to keep reminding them over and over and over again of what they've been saying that they want, what, what goals they want to achieve, um, what, what they want out of life, and just keep putting that back in front of them for those times when they get frustrated, um, when they get distracted because life, um, all of those things. So I just... I just keep bringing things back to them, bringing things back to what they are wanting and saying, you know, Hey, you said you wanted to do X, Y, and Z. Have you done X, Y, and Z? So I think that's part of what makes me different. And then also my form of accountability is very different compared to 99% of people in the world. Um, I work with proactive accountability. Most people deal with reactive accountability. And so the proactive accountability that I do is, uh, well, let's start with the accountability that most people recognize. So somebody says, I want to achieve X by Friday at five. Well, most people would then call that person at 5.01 PM on Friday and say, did you do the thing? Did you do X? Well, by that point, it's too late. (laughs) They did it or they didn't, right? And they feel great about it or they feel gross about it, right? Okay. Can we do that later? Thank you. Um, So, sorry, John, you're going to have to do some editing here. (laughs) Totally fine. Totally fine. So, they've done, they've either done it or they didn't. And so, they they feel bad because they didn't do it or they're happy but you waited until Friday to reach out to them. Well, what if they completed it on Wednesday? Right? 
right. they could have taken Thursday and Friday to do the next thing. So what I'm doing with my clients is I'm doing proactive accountability. So if they're saying by Friday at five, they want to get X done, I'm reaching out to them on either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, asking them for a progress report. And if they report that they've already got it complete, then I'm like, okay, what's next? What else can you get done by Friday at five? Right. And that's how my clients are doubling and tripling and quadrupling their production because they're getting stuff done faster. And then I'm helping them along with moving towards their next goal. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give a quick testimonial in the middle of your interview. <laughs> I have worked with Jenny for a long time. And I have to tell you within the first three months of working with her, we did quadruple my income and I can't thank you enough. Obviously you do amazing work or I wouldn't be continuing to coach with you, obviously. Um, but yeah, I can't, I cannot say enough about you and the way that you do proactively ask me what's going on and, mm -hmm. and reminding me, like you said, this is why you wanted to do this. Remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, it makes you take that next step. So I, I shout out to Jenny Bellinger. Um, you do amazing things, but thank you back, back to the original reason for our interview. Sure. You have been nominated as a notable networker, not by one, not by two, but by several, I'm not going to tell you how many, uh, people, uh, the words that come that came in with your nomination are, uh, inclusive, motivated, loving, caring, um, spirited. And, and I'm doing this from memory now. I should have written these down and I apologize, but <laughs> I know Jenny, so I can just describe her. Um, you are a person that meets people where they are and helps them get to where they want to go. And your BNI cohorts have seen this not only in your direct sales coaching, but that's how you treat BNI. Mm. And I just want to give you kudos because you have brought along so many individual members and so many chapters. So I just wanted to let you know what other people think of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I, I truly believe that ap appreciation is my love language. So it's my number two. I was going to say good on you for getting my words of affirmation. That's my second love language. Since I can't get my first one, which is touch, then <laughs> the number, number two will have to do. It will. Um, but I, I think sometimes we, especially now, miss out on the recognition, the accolades, and uh, like you said, just the affirmation that you are doing amazing things. And I want you to know that you are doing amazing things. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm glad because that means other people are being successful. And that's really my, my personal and company mission is to spread success. Well, what does it mean to you to have so many people say so many nice things about you? <laughs> Well, like I said, it's my second love language. So yay. Hallelujah. I'm getting, I'm feeling the love. That's a good thing. Um, it, it also lets me know that I'm on the right path. I'm doing the right things. What I'm doing is working for people. And, and that's, what's important to me. Like I said, it's, it's literally my, my own personal and company mission to spread success, like have a positive impact on the lives businesses and families of a hundred thousand direct sales moms. And then, and in the case of BNI, it's to have a positive impact on the lives, businesses, and families of BNI members, mm -hmm. because I know every good thing that we do ripples out it, you know, BNI members, when they feel good, that they're doing well, they're being successful, they're taking it home and being, you know, they're happier around their, their spouses, their families, um, their friends, the people in their lives. And so those good things just keep rippling out. I love that. Thank you. I, I have nothing to add to that. <laughs> You're just amazing. Um, and 
obviously we've known each other for a while. And one of the words that came in about you was fun. And so I want you to share with us and share with our audience, what is the most fun thing that you have done with your BNI chapter to be you, to, to spread joy, to help? Oh everybody? gosh. Well, there's a couple things. So f on behalf of the chapter, um, when I first joined this chapter, I was asked to be the March Madness coach. So that was my first job with EBB uh, to two, almost three years ago. And can, can you explain what March Madness is just that oh, way? Yeah. Everybody. Oh yeah. March Madness is our visitor and membership drive here in BNI. It happens in January and February of every year. And so I was asked to be the March Madness coach because they're like, you're a coach and you're really good at the visitor thing. So you could probably teach people to do both. And so I, I did, and I came up with something, um, you know, broke up our chapter into three teams and the, the captain of each team was one of the leadership team members, which is a fairly common way of doing things uh, from what I've heard. Um, but then what made it fun was I was able to find one of those promotional, you know, products places. Actually, Ryan Wisnaski with shirts galore and more um, was willing to donate a trophy that he couldn't sell anymore. There, it was a trophy design that wasn't available. And so he, it was just sitting in a shop, taking up space and getting dusty. And so he donated, he brought it to me at RSS one Friday morning. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought little tiny foam rainbow basketballs because it was a basketball trophy and which works out because March Madness. And I cut open the little foam basketball and stuck it on top so there was this giant rainbow basketball oh my word this trophy i have it out my garage i you know if i had known we were going to talk about this i would have gone and grabbed it <laughs> um so that was really fun because then the 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 chapter like the each of the individual teams were competing over who got to have the trophy in front of their captain each week because we would just move the trophy. So at the beginning of the meeting, it would be in front of the captain who won the previous week for the number of visitors and new members. Cause we were just using the same point system that B and I Mid America uses for March Madness. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle of the meeting, when we did the March Madness report, I would either, either the, the trophy would stay in front of the winning captain or it would move. So every week it was kind of moving around or staying in one place. And so the other two teams would get real fired up and they'd get, you know, visitors coming the next time or, they reach out to their visitors and get them to, to join or something would happen. So that, that made it really fun. And I think that was one of the things that really um, helped spur along EBB's growth uh, process was two years ago, seeing how fun it can be to actually invite visitors and do that. The other fun thing I've done just on my own is we had an ugly Christmas sweater contest in our chapter. That's and great. It was my, it was my very first Christmas with them. And I borrowed an ugly Christmas sweater that I saw from some, <laughs> saw on somebody else. And it's got two little Santa hats on the chest. <laughs> okay. And that was when, that was when EBB really got to see how um, mm, saucy that I can be <laughs> <laughs> on top of being sassy. <laughs> Sassy and saucy. I yeah. So that, that was really fun. Cause I came walking in with my winter coat on and then we're standing around talking or whatever. And they're like, okay, ugly Christmas sweater time. And I took off my coat. And everybody lost it. Oh my gosh. Lost it. Yeah. And you I won, right? You won. Oh, the ugly yeah. Yeah. And then the next year they were like, oh great. What's Jenny going to do? And I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the contest and didn't dress up. Oh, no, no, no. I did dress up. I dressed up as a lit up Christmas tree. Nice. Yeah, but it wasn't an ugly Christmas sweater, so I didn't win. So that's okay, though. I had fun. It was but a good time. That's what I, it was. I think that is one of the amazing things about participating is mm. participating breeds participation, yes. especially when everybody is laughing. Oh yeah. The I first year with the ugly Christmas sweater, I think there were four of us who participated. And then the next year there were 10 or 15 who showed up in ugly Christmas sweaters and they were trying, they were gunning hard for me. They're like, we're going to win this year, Bellinger. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Again, I think we make more money when we're having fun. I think we give more referrals. I, I think we're in it more when we're having fun. 
Oh yeah. And then people want to be with you. Who wants to be with a negative Nelly or somebody who's not at least like smiling? Like, yeah, we like a, a, an RBF will, will push away anybody and everybody. Right. And mm-hmm. if you don't know what RBF is, urban dictionary, go look it up. I'm not going to say it here because this is not my channel, um, <laughs> but have a smile try to make things fun, try to get to know other people, be interested in them. And it, it just networking becomes easy and fun. And then stuff happens. It, it does. And one of the things I just realized is we did not talk about your podcast. Oh yeah. I do have a podcast. You do have a podcast. Would you like to share a little, a little bit about your podcast? I, yeah, absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity. So I do have a podcast for, for direct sales uh, moms, because let's face it, 75% of the people in the direct sales industry are women. And most of them are moms who are doing their business to be able to pay for ballet lessons and gymnastics and soccer and all the sports and vacations and all that stuff. Right. Um, So my podcast is called Badass Direct Sales Mastery, where I interview direct sales experts and leaders who are absolutely killing it in the direct sales world to share their secrets of success in direct sales. Thank you. And what is that? What is the podcast called? It's called Badass Direct Sales Mastery. And where can you get that? on all major podcast platforms. So if you're already a podcast listener, wherever you go and listen to the BNI official podcast, assuming that you're listening to the BNI official podcast. Of course they are. Of course they are. Of course you are. I, I believe this. Um, if you're listening to it from your phone, then you're probably, then you can probably go find my podcast there. Um, I, by the way, am I allowed to say what counts as a referral for me? An initial referral from people? I would love that. Yes. Okay. If you, if you're on an Apple phone, okay, sorry, Android people, I'm going to have to give you different instructions, but on an, on an Apple, if you go to Apple podcast and find my podcast, subscribe, rate, and review the podcast after you listen to an episode. So you can actually talk about how awesome the interview was, or if you listen to one of my monologue episodes, boy, that Jenny knows what she's talking about. Um, put, you know, subscribe, rate, and review then you can put in and put that in as a referral for me. And the reason that I count that as a referral is because I've actually had listeners comment on the fact that part of the reason they decided to listen is because I have more ratings and more reviews than almost any other direct sales podcast out there. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh my gosh, lots of people are listening. I should go listen. And so it's increasing my number of listeners, which then increases the possibility that someone is going to reach out to me and want to do business with me. So for Android listeners, you're going to have to go to Stitcher in order to leave a review. So that's the only podcast place that will allow ratings and reviews. Um, I think Overcast allows you to like favorite an episode if you listen on overcast, but that's an iPhone thing only. So, but I can't see proof of that. I can see ratings and reviews on Stitcher and Apple podcast. So if that's the only time you ever go into Apple podcast or Stitcher is to rate and review, you get a referral out of it. Just put it in the system and tell me you did it. So, Yay. and I'm sure we'll have links to your level up coaching page. And we'll also have a link for your, uh, badass direct sales mastery podcast. We'll, we'll include that in the, in the notes. Awesome. Thanks. I think I have like two final questions and I, I know we're running long, but I'm a talker. You're a talker. It's it happens. made in heaven. Um, one of, well, I would like you to provide one of your golden nuggets. So something Ooh. that you feel has, that you feel can help other people. Stop making it about you elaborate on that. (laughs) (laughs) So especially in BNI, um, when I'm going into a BNI one-to-one, I am doing as much as I can to find out about the other person first, find out about their business first, um, try and make that first referral. I want to give, I want to truly live in the giver's gain. And so I don't make it about me. Um, you know, unless they ask and then I will. (laughs) So, um, So 
I, I, I don't make it about me. I want to make sure that I am providing massive value for them by understanding who they are, what they do, who their ideal client is. So that way I, or their ideal referral source, because you know, as much as I would love to give a lot of referrals, there's a lot of people in BNI. I'd much rather like introduce you to your golden goose and just let them keep giving you referrals. And then you can just thank me for that one referral and just be making tons of money. That's, that's always my goal for people is to say, okay, who, who can I introduce you to? That's going to get you more money than me having to go find all these little one-offs who might buy the one thing or the one service or whatever. I'd rather just introduce you to someone who just keeps sending you more people. Right. So tiny, the, their interest, not yours. Yeah. When you, Ooh. when you were saying that, I'm like, is it with them? Is it what's in it for me? That's not right. No their interest, not yours. Yeah. 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 I, oh, I've not heard that. Oh, I'm I stealing mean, it. I'm you, writing it down. I thought you told that to me. <laughs> no, I've never heard that before, but I'm writing it down. I'm taking <laughs> their interest, not yours. And I, one of the things that I think is amazing about BNI is I have found it so much, I don't want to say more pleasurable. That does, that's not so much more joyful, joyful. Thank you. That's a very good word. It's so much more pleasing to me to give referrals. I experience such joy, especially mm-hmm. when it's a referral that I've never been able to give to somebody. Oh, my, I know. Right. My very first referral was to Guido Bernstein in our chapter and he's our painter um, with Bernstein painting. And I was elated. I, I came to the chapter meeting and I was all like, I'm giving a refer. I I was so excited. And it, it made me happier than selling anything I could. Agreed. Agreed. I, I get such a dopamine hit when I can pass a referral to somebody and same as you, especially to someone who I was like, Oh man, how am I going to pull this off? Cause whoo, I, right. I don't know about this one, but I always still manage to do that, you know? And I, I, I love doing that. It's so much fun to be able to do that more. So than I, I get more of a hit from putting in the referral than from getting the notification that I've received a referral. Yes. But again, that's because you're tiny. Yes. You're their interest, not yours. And I, I love that about you. We are going to wrap up at this point. Any parting thoughts, little Miss Jenny Bellinger? Mm. No, I mean, I just, I can't imagine my business without BNI. I really honestly can't. Um, That was literally the line that sold me on BNI 10 years ago. Um, I remember sitting down with a Mary Kay lady and saying, okay, how does this work for direct sales? Cause I mean, I can see how this would work for a realtor and a mortgage person and all these other people who are here in the room. How does it work for someone like us? And she said, I can't imagine my business without BNI. And that's when I was like, that's it sold done. You know, this was a, a somebody who was approaching national sales director status. And I went, boom, done, sold. I, I want that. And, and I honestly now cannot imagine my business without BNI. Seriously. Mic drop. I, I, I think that concludes our show. <laughs> I want to thank Jenny Bellinger for being here today. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody out there for tuning in, paying attention and hanging out with us. Um, as Again, as always, please check us out on YouTube. We have other channels, other amazing people that we want to spotlight. Um, but just make sure that you subscribe to BNI Mid-America TV, and we will catch you again later. Thanks. Bye. For more information on how BNI can help you build your business, book your complimentary consultation with Virginia Moose Keys at discoverbniminamerica.com. BNI Mid America TV is brought to you by the Bergman Insurance Group, your trusted source for Medicare information, education, and enrollment. Be sure to check out the show notes for additional information on how to contact today's host or guest about their business. And thanks for watching.